Hi all traders and investors welcome to strike today we are going to discuss an important indicator that is an oscillator which is Williams percentage R which was developed by Larry Williams whether you are a experienced trader or someone who's new to markets it's a really helpful tool for all of you so let's just dive in so firstly what exactly is Williams percentage R it is a momentum indicator that reflects price with respect to its high low range for a given period the most common period used for it is 14 days so it measures with whether the price is closing in the high low range of the 14 days it's among one of the favorite indicators for traders looking to judge overbought or oversold conditions in the market the indicator itself is pretty simple it ranges from 0 to minus 100 Readings above minus 20 till 0 reflect overbought conditions and readings below minus 80 to minus 100 reflect oversold conditions. But there is more to it than just raw numbers. It's the movement of the indicator itself, whether and how it is moving from overbought to oversold or from oversold to overbought regions. So let's dive into it. So as I said, 14 period is the most commonly used period you can increase or decrease the period based on your trading strategy but note that shorter periods will give more false signals than longer periods now a reading above minus 20 does not blindly mean that you go ahead and sell and a similarly reading below minus 80 does not mean that you go ahead and buy it's actually when it tries to move back into these normal zones from the overbought or oversold zones so let's look at a few recent examples on bank nifty so as you can see here it was elevated around this period and then it came back below minus 20 on 20th of september that is on this candle which was followed by a down move it actually lasted for more period now similarly here it got oversold below minus 80 but that did not mean that you blindly go ahead and buy it actually crossed above that on this green candle which resulted into a sustained up move so a very basic strategy is to actually wait for the indicator to move back into the neutral zone from the overbought or the oversold zone to take your action now a couple of mistakes that one needs to avoid on this indicator is that not solely relying on it but also waiting for some other factors to confirm be it some kind of price confirmation from the candlestick pattern or be it confirmation from the volume or combining it with any other trending indicator be it MACD or a moving average so if I simply try to apply a moving average here so let's use a 9 period moving average as an example so as you can see here we got into the oversold zone and moved back above the moving average so we got two confirmations together for up move now the second mistake to avoid here is to understand that indicate this indicator can remain in the overbought or the oversold zone when the market is trending in nature so as you can see from the rally that started in the march from the March low the indicator went back from oversold zone to overbought zones and then it stayed there spent a lot of time within 0 and negative 20 range before finally coming back below it so all this while you can see it did not mean that you blindly close your long positions or go short on the particular stock but actually try to trail with a certain other indicators or wait for a price confirmation now let's let's just jump into the scanners within strike to see how you can spot opportunities on day to day basis for this indicator so i'm into technical indicators and i'm seeing william percentage r on the first so i can select the basket i want to see i'm selecting indices as well as fno stocks so i'm checking negative 80 stocks crossing above negative 80 level so that is uh, when a stock is below uh, minus 80 on the percentage r and is today crossing above it so these are the results i'm seeing for today and now i can do my further analysis on these certain stocks and see if anyone fits my criteria 
Now same thing I can do for the opposite side as well that is crossing below minus 20 or I can also check on the weekly, hourly or monthly time frame. So do log into web.strike.money and check out this scanner. Let me know if you have any other questions on the same indicator or any other topic. We'll try to cover everything in future videos. Thank you.